Hi everyone and welcome back. It is nice to see you again. Um, I have been trying to get this podcast started for a few minutes now and I am realizing that I have, up until the moment I sat down to film this, I had a good hair day. And then I pushed the button to start filming and something happened. Whatever, we're just uh, gonna roll with it and um, yeah. I am mean, just, I'm happy it's winter. I'm knitting all the hats because I'm having, I'm growing my hair back out. It's, I don't, I, it's too expensive to go to the hairdresser for me, I think. Um, I'm not quite inclined to, to spend that kind of money. So I'm very appreciative that it is winter and I can wear all the knitted hats and, but I don't do inside. So I'm sorry, you'll just have to endure my whatever this is. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I have had a peculiar week, I guess you could say. No, it's not peculiar. It's been, it's been a rough week. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in my house. I have teenagers that are going through a hard time. But some very, very bad th things have happened not too far from here. And all these things have kind of gotten to me this week and I've had a hard time finding the energy to do all the things that I really needed to do but I've been trying and um, I wrote about this in, in my blog yesterday so if you want to know more about that you can hop on over there and, and see what's, uh, what's that, what, what that's all about. Uh, I will link that below. I did do quite a lot of knitting even though, oh yeah, I, was, I, was, I forgot to tell you, um, I have not done any shop updates for this week uh, because of this, because I did not, I couldn't dye any yarn, I haven't had time for that and I haven't been feeling well and, yeah, well, whatever. So I did not have a shop update this week and I am considering to just stop doing shop updates because I, I was uh, intending to do a regular shop updates for Fridays, but I find that it is... Uh, it's easier if I can just add stuff into the shop as I go along and when I, you know, whenever I'm dying or making something and maybe I'll just post an update instead on Instagram for you. So I think I'm going to be doing that from now on. And uh, so, you know, if you want to stay tuned to, to what I'm adding into the shop, follow me on Instagram and I will always post an update, uh, update there for when that happens. So, uh, enough about that. Uh, like I said, I have been doing quite a lot of knitting uh, this week and I have do, been doing some designing. And if you remember last week, I did talk about uh, getting back to my to old projects that have just been been piled up and not finished and, and you know and wanting to to get that sorted. I did actually do that. And so I think I'm going to start off with the project that I am most proud of having finished this week. And it is the, let me see if I can show you properly. There you go. It is the Stockholm hat. And I had made, can you see it? Am I too, there you go. Uh, I had made the brim earlier and uh, it's a double brim. So I have first like the, the colored rose and the, the number of uh, the pink rose is to, um, tells you what year Stockholm got its uh, urban privileges. So I did that first and then I did uh, quite a big chunk of um, just in the black because my intention was that you would fold the brim like this. Uh, so I had made that I think at least two years ago, it was a long time ago and then I just got stuck because I couldn't decide how to continue on the pattern coming up next. And let me show you, I don't know if you remember from last time I showed you the mittens that I made first, that whole thing started about, started with. Uh, as you can see, there are, you have the uh, number of rows with the colored uh, yarn that states when they got the urban privileges. And then there's a, a bridge down here, and it is city hall, and uh, a church, and you have the... Um, circle square pattern, this back side here, and on the thumb you have the uh, Cockness Tower 
and uh, the Globe, uh, Stockholm Globe Arena. So there's a lot of things happening in this pattern and I couldn't decide which of these elements to put on the hat that I made or if I should put all of them there because I did make I didn't bring them uh, now but I, I do I have the mittens and I made a sock pattern as well and in the sock pattern I did add managed to add in all the elements but what to do for the hat so after careful consideration I start I decided to just pick one element and I picked the Stockholm Globe Arena for this one and uh, just uh, work with the circle square pattern for the rest of the hat. So it's, it's that all through. And my thought is that you could... I'm going to add into the pattern all these different elements, even for the hat, so that you can actually choose which one you want to use. Or if you want to be bold and daring and just combine all of them on your hat, go ahead. So, uh, but I went for the, uh, the Globe Arena. For this one, oh, let's see, there it is. Um, and I'm quite happy with that. It has a good fit. I'm not going to try it on because of my before stated uh, bad hair season. Uh, it's going to be a complete mess if I try to put a hat on this as well. But it does have a, a wee bit of a slouch as well, uh, which I like. I didn't know I liked that actually until this season, but I, I no, I'm, I like that. Uh, so I have, have made that uh, feature as well and I'm also very very happy with, can you see that, how the um, decreases turned out in this hat. Now this took, or actually this, the brim, takes a lot of time to make because it's a lot of ribbing in, on very very small needles and I remember it felt like I was knitting, knitting and knitting like forever before I finish the brim but I still and I have I have so much to do right now I have several designs coming up and I have to do a design proposition for a magazine but I find myself craving a hat like this in this colorway black and yellow which is so odd because it's not really something I've been drawn to previously and especially not yellow it's not it's never really been like you know the color for me but for some reason I'm 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 feeling the yellow right now so I there's a part of me that is thinking that maybe maybe I should make another hat and wouldn't it look good for the pattern to have um, another hat in a different color to to show off maybe with uh, another element here so I don't know I don't know there is a, there is a chance that I will be casting on that as well even though I really really don't have time for it but I don't know I'm I, I'm loving the hat also I do like the the pink and black version as well a lot but uh, yeah, very, very much feeling the black and yellow right now. So we'll see. Maybe I'll even make a whole set for myself with a hat and the mittens and uh, perhaps even a pair of black and yellow socks. Uh, I do have a black and blue pair of socks and a black and pink, I think, I made for myself uh, in the sock variety of, of this pattern. And I'm also thinking about doing uh, like a bundle where you can get all three patterns for, uh, oh, I don't know, reduced costs, well something, so that you can get all three at, at once if you, you'd like to do that. So I'm very happy about that, um, very pleased with the hat. I'm actually not feeling a pom-pom for this hat. I don't know why, because I've been on a real pom-pom kick lately, but uh, no, not this one. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with it without the pom-pom. So I will uh, stick to that, I think, and we'll see. Maybe next week there's uh, another one in black and yellow happening. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so far so good. 
Next project on the needles uh, that's, that I also talked about last week that was uh, one, a pattern that I wanted to finish and get published and that I've kind of been dragging on forever for God knows what reason. I just didn't seem to, to get around to it. I am pulling myself together and finishing that one as well. And it is the, oh, let's see, can you see that? Uh, the tropical socks. I'm not sure if I'm going to call them that, but yeah. Um, these I made in July last year as a part of the Grocery Girls um, 12 month uh, sock along. I don't know, I don't remember what they call it, but uh, I designed these for that. But I found later that I had been, um, I needed to have more stitches on top of the foot here because it's it gets too tight here Let's see. in that area it gets too tight so I need to, to add on stitches when I pick up from the heel so I was going to make another pair of these was my plan to and to account for that and uh, perhaps even add in another size so I have started that project as well but I, I only started yesterday so there's really not much to show, I'm afraid, but I just wanted to tell you I did get started. So I have knit the cuff. <laughs> or the first, no, I haven't knit the cuff, I just the first um, a ribbing. Uh, I've started with that. And if I don't know if you can tell, but this yarn is a bit. Can you see how the lighter patches on it? And it's because this skein was one that really didn't make it into the shop, but um, because it had some, it had some flaws. But I decided it, it's uh, it's good enough for me to to redo that pattern and get that um, organized. So so that's why. So, so uh, um, well, I don't care. You can have a yarn that has a bit of a flaw as well in, in this in this socks. Why not? Nothing wrong with it, you know. So that's happening and I'm hoping, I'm not sure I'll have that done by next week because this is a pattern that takes a lot of time and a lot of concentration to when you're working on it because you have a several, uh, it's color work and that you have uh, a, a few rows in the in like the center of the flower where you're working with all the yarns at the same time and you have to um, untangle everything and uh, it, it takes a lot of time and it's not it's a knit that you do more for, for the result because they are really pretty and, and there are a lot of people who actually who really love these uh, socks but it's not it's not a fun knit it's a technical knit more than a fun knit I have to admit that uh, so it's so I think it's um, it's something that you will do more for for the finished project than actually just the knitting process itself. At least I would. Um, but I'm think I'm hoping I will have those done within the next two or three weeks. I should be able to do it, depending on how much I've, I've got. Uh, otherwise, but I, I think I, sh I should be able to do that. Oh, and also I forgot to say about the Stockholm hat. I should have that pattern ready to go within the next few days because this. Um, I just blocked the the hat that I made now, and uh, I just basically need to to print down, down everything and to to do some decent photos of it. Unless I really want to have that other hat in in uh, another color, also in the pictures or for the pattern. We'll see. We'll see. I do really want to publish that one because it's been on the needles for so long. Um, but uh, yeah, and uh, like I said, the, the tropical socks will hopefully be ready and pattern should be printed and, and ready to go um, by the end of February, the latest, I think. It, they should should be done for that. So what else have I been working on? Well, I could show you a couple of more of my smaller projects I have in this upcycled jeans project bags with my pins on it. I have been working a little bit on the Let's see. Okay. There we go. On the new 
sock design and I have finished this part and I am on to the heel. I'm pretty much done with the heel flap which I'm doing in twisted ribbing. Um, so I've been kind of... I haven't worked a lot on this project but it's it's been chugging along every now and then this week. Um, so that's coming along as well. This is an easy pattern. It should be... well I do, I do granted I do need to, to make finish this pair. This is the first sock. So I need to make another one to have this pair completed and I do also want to make a pair in a smaller size for myself. These are going to my friend uh, Jonas. So uh, it'll be it'll be a while before this pattern is uh, finished as well but it's uh, it's an easy pattern, it's beginner friendly and um, yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to having this done as well. So I've been working a little bit on that and oh See, I'm just going to put this away and don't drop any needles. And there's been a surprise. I have been working on this project a lot this week. Can you see it? Which actually surprises even me because I did not plan to. And this is. <laughs> you see the pattern? It's, uh, it's well worn. It's well worn. This has been my main movie knitting item when I go to the movie theater. And I started it more than a year ago. Um, I don't even remember when I started it. But it is like uh, it's a pair of knitted tights that are called So Cozy by Drops Design. Can you see? I'm going to do like that. tricky. I don't know if you can see that picture. Uh, but it's uh, it's a pair of knitted tights in ribbing basically. So it's it's uh, it's a lot of knitting. And I am not yet down to where you split four legs. But it's getting there. And I've been knitting I don't know a couple of inches I think at least on this project this week. As I've, there's a lot of stuff has been happening and I've just needed the mindless knit more this week I think so that's why I kind of I just grabbed this one even though I, I didn't really plan to although I do of course want to finish this as well and I have this idea that as once I have finished the knitted tights I'm going to make uh, a jumper a sweater no like a jumper under a garment kind of thing in the same yarn and in also in ribbing and maybe using like a top down pattern, easy top down pattern like Tin Can Knits, uh, Flax Light or something and I can wear that for winter when it's really cold and I need to go outside and I can have that uh, underneath my um, yeah my other clothes. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't gone th gotten through this one yet. It's, uh, like I said it's, it's a lot of knit knitting and I am doing it on needles 2.5 millimeters so this one takes time. I do really like the texture however it's really really nice it's uh, and I think it will have a good fit because it's ribbing all through all of it is ribbing so it, it'll, it will stretch a lot and uh, yeah I think it'll be uh, if it, it depends on if if it's uh, if I find that it is itchy once I've made it maybe I won't be using it that much but if not I will probably be living in this once it's done that's what I think so yeah really loving that and I'm happy to be making a proper dent in that project as well because it's um, even though there's no brush for it and I did intend it for like a long term knit that I could just bring along for movie theaters or whenever I am just you know sitting down and not doing much else I could have have this project and chug along on but I'm, I'm starting to to feel that it would be really nice to finish it and be able to wear it so yeah fingers crossed I will have that finished Oh, I don't know when I'll have that finished. Not this season. Oh no. Possibly next winter. Maybe. Depending on how much I feel like knitting on it during the summer and the autumn. 
but it could take another year and a half before I'll have that completely after needles, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so, okay, next project. Yeah, the next project, living in my dollar horse tote bag, is the Ixchel. I still haven't checked on how to pronounce that, I need to do that. And it is coming along really nicely. Let me just get all the stuff up here. So, okay, first things first. I am happy to say that I have now, oh, I need more arms, <laughs> have now finished the first sleeve. And there is a pattern on there as well, which really, really needs some blocking, but it's, uh, it's a small pattern. So I just finished that only minutes before I started filming this, and I tried it. I haven't. Uh, this is uh, the last part of. Oh shit! The last part of the sleeve is ribbing like this much, and um, I tried it on before I started doing the ribbing. Um, so I haven't tried it on after that. But I did a, um, a stretchy bind off. You can see it's uh, it's a bit. So open up uh, opens up a bit like a flower. And it's not going to look like that when you put it on. And I, I need to have it like that because I'm the kind of person I always like do this, you know, I always pull up my sleeves. So I need to have a really stretchy, forgiving bind off. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. One sleeve done, the majority of the body is done. And like I said last time, and I think the time before. I did, um, I stopped knitting the body once I had finished the pattern for that because I wanted to possibly, possibly lengthen it. I like sweaters that are a bit, has a bit more length to them. And uh, I wasn't sure if I would have enough yarn. And I had, uh, I have checked the pattern now and it calls for four skeins of the, the navy blue and it calls for two skeins of the, the golden uh, color. So that's what I dyed up. And it appears that I have, um, as, since I dyed my own yarns for this, I apparently have more yardage in the in my skeins because what I am finding is, let's see, I have a scale here, I'm going to see how much is left here. Because I actually do, you have, like I said, you needed two skeins of the golden yarn and I have, I have one skein I haven't broken into yet at all and I have I just weighed this and this is 20 grams left so this will be more than enough for the little what little pattern is left on the oh shoot I dropped it uh, on the sleeve because it's uh, it's just a little bit oh, on the top here up here and then there's the uh, the arrows and the moons on the sleeve. This, this this does not take a lot of yarn because you have to. Oh, I'm sorry. Because when I made this, um, I'm just going to turn off the scale and put that away. Um, I made all of the pattern on the entire body. I made with the same skein. With this one and it's a hundred grams gain and I still got 20 grams left so this will be more than enough for um, for the other sleeve I will have a lot left over from that and plus I have a whole other skein in addition to that that I haven't even broken into yet and I also this is what is left of uh, the skein that I used to, to knit the sleeves and this is 55 grams, which means that this will be more than enough for the other sleeve. And it also means that this, which um, is still attached to the body of the sweater, I, uh, you know, I, c I could knit a skirt maybe. <laughs> There's a lot of yarn left over from this project and I, I will be able to lengthen it as much as I like. I could lengthen it enough to make a dress of it if I want to. 
Um, so I think what I will be doing next is to to finish the body of this sweater so that I can cast that off and get it off the needles and then I will just have to finish the other, the other sleeve and I will be done. We'll, we'll be ready for blocking. Um, I don't know if I will finish this within the month of January but I will be close because depending on how much I knit because I don't remember, have, had I started the sleeve last week? I think I started just after the last week's podcast, didn't I? Which means I knit this sleeve within a week uh, while also having a lot of other projects to attend to. So, well, just the beginning of February I should be completely done with this one. It's my estimate. So, yeah. Really looking forward to that. Really, really looking forward to that. Um, and then we'll see. Like I said, I have uh, have a lot of... Oh, I'll just put it here. There will be a lot of yarn left over. The majority of this skein will um, be used. But I will have a lot of left over from this one. I don't know how much. This is more than, I think it's 90 something grams in this one. So it's, it's almost a full skein. Uh, so I'll we'll have quite a lot left of that one. There will be some left of this. And I have this. So I could make, uh, I don't know, matching cowl in brioche maybe to go with the sweater or... I don't know. I did, I, I'm getting very very good yardage um, for this, uh, in this yard. So I will, this project will be finished I will need five skeins instead of six for my size and I'm doing one of the larger sizes because I'm a... Uh, that's what I need. So that's good. That's good uh, knitting economy and uh, which also makes me kind of excited for the next project that I will be casting on after this one uh, which is a sweater I'm designing myself because I think I made... I think I made eight skeins for that one. Which means I have a lot of yarn for that project and can do all kinds of fun things for that. So, that should be fun. Um, yeah, very, very happy about this. Really looking forward to be able to wear it. Wishing that I had some fabric in the, the navy. Because I am craving to make something that goes with the sweater. And I guess, I don't know, It's I think it's, um, I guess that's kind of my thing. I do like to make uh, matching things and, and yeah. So I, I would, I wish I had some fabric to make a pair of tights at least, or a, a pair of pants or a, maybe a skirt or something that could, yeah, in a navy blue that would match this sweater. That would be nice. And uh, yeah, you will probably see more of that uh, in the future. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for knitted items this week. I do have a small acquisitions only left to show you. I did get my knit crate this week and this is the yarn I got. This is the, I don't know if I can read this without my glasses, uh, Vidalana Ambient Worsted in the Colorway Whiskey. It's like a uh, um, well, it's a kind of a whiskey, toffee kind of color, and um, I'm getting this really cozy autumn vibe from this yarn. So I think I'm going to save it for autumn and make myself something uh, like a nice accessoire for something the next autumn. It's pretty, and it's so soft and squishy, and you, it's uh, you'll. Knit with the large needles, I think. Oh, I can't tell. I need to have my glasses on. I don't didn't bring my glasses. So this uh, could be a, a quick, fun knit for Adam for something. I don't know. Call maybe. Maybe another hat. I seem to be on a hat kick for now. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for knitting and uh, yarn related things for this week. 
I have not picked up any other uh, old projects that I have lying around because I do want to finish, I, I want to prioritize the tropical socks because they are going to take quite a lot of time to, to get done. But once I have got those after needles I will move on to the next uh, project that I have got, that I've started but uh, haven't finished yet. Another thing that I really really need to prioritize is the winter coat for my son that I am sewing for him. I have had it, I've had a fabric and I, I got a pad and, I, and everything and it's been basically pretty much sitting there for weeks now. And I have a hard time getting started. And the reason is that what he wants is this. Can you see that? He wants a winter coat that looks like a panda bear. Which is really not a problem. I, I have actually I've cut out the fabric for the body which will be white and the sleeves and the top of the coat will be in black. This will be the tricky part. He wants a hood for the winter coat that he can kind of pull front and down and there will be like a panda face on it. And I have no idea how to, to do that. And I think that's probably what's been slowing down the process of making this. Uh, because oh, it's taking me forever. Also, the pattern I got was a PDF pattern. And I've used that a couple of times before. But then for small items that didn't have that many parts. Uh, so I got this pattern and I printed it and it was like a gazillion pages. So I spent like two hours printing and cutting and taping everything together to get all the pattern pieces done and when I was finally done I, I was kind of pumped that yay I can start cutting the fabric and then I realized oh I got like 37 more pages of lining to cut and then I have to cut there are like 15 pages of pockets and, and you know it's been a huge process so even though I am appreciating PDF patterns a lot uh, Ordering a winter coat with the lining and the pockets and all the, the all the things It's a big 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 undertaking. It's like a week's work of just assembling the pattern, <laughs> pattern itself So I think I kind of lost a, a bit of steam over that and also that I need to, to do these design elements that I, I I don't know and it's for my 13 year old. I love the kid to death, I do, but you know, 13 year olds and changing their minds is all. He has been very persistent that he wants this, he wants this coat um, for months now, which is why I, <coughs> excuse me, why I started doing that in the first place. But I guess I am somewhere a bit worried that I will start this project and I will put it all together and he'll end up not using it because he doesn't like it. So I'm trying to make it as generic as possible and I want to, one thing that I'm going to do is to, to make the hood as, um, it's, it's kind of a button on hood so that you can remove it and he can just omit the entire panda head kind of thing and the rest of the jacket will be, just be like a, uh, no, everyday black and white winter coat, nothing, yeah, nothing special. So I'm hoping he, he'll like it either way even though he should change his mind about the whole panda thing so let's hope so so that's uh i need really need to get going on that project and um i am no I'm, it's it's saturday when i'm filming this which means i will be cleaning the house for a few hours after filming and then i i'm hoping that i can have a, a whole evening of just sewing and starting to to put this together to, so that I will get somewhere on this project. So fingers crossed for that. I'm also trying to, to bribe myself uh, to that I will, as soon as I finish this project, I will get to sew stuff for myself because I have a lot of fun projects in the pipeline um, and a fabric and I got, got everything. I got a pattern, I got a fabric, I got everything. So that I will be allowed to start sewing as soon as I finished this project. So, yeah, I just need to get to it. Um, and another thing, um, which I thought I should mention as well, I am also, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but that I'm also very much into doing upcycling things, like I did with the 
these, the uh, project bags, jeanswear project bags. Um, I also do that for clothing a lot. I remake. I'm the kind of person that don't. I never throw anything away. I'm not a hoarder, uh, but I have a hard time throwing things away if they are perfectly good. Let's say I have a sweater or something that's just too small for me. Um, and maybe it's it's a garment that I really really liked. I will be hesitant about giving it away also because you know I really like it. And then I will save it and I will try to reuse it somehow and make something else out of it. And I have, I did try to pick up the pace on that again last year and I did make, I did remake a sweater and I did make these bags. But I'm thinking maybe for this year I am going to be more I'm thinking about just basically deciding that I'm going to do at least one project a month that is an upcycling sewing project. I'm not sure I can fit that into my schedule, but I will try because I have a lot of stuff. I've been saving things for years. I have like the, the big blue IKEA bags, chunk full of garments for from... Some stuff is from when the kids were younger, which they have outgrown, and some things are stuff that I have <clears throat> outgrown. Um, so, and there's a lot of good items there. There's a lot of good fabric in there. And I really, really want to, to make something good with it. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to pull myself together again and get on that and get that done. Now, for January, I think... I am allowed to call these my upcycling project for January. I made four of these. Right? Because it's like, it's uh, it's a week left of this month and I don't know if I can fit in a whole other project at this time. And I did make these in January. So these will be my January upcycling project. And I'm going to decide on another project for February. I do have one in mind. I found a sweater from my oldest son that he had when he was, I don't know, it's many years ago. And it's too small even for my youngest son, but I showed him. It had like a really cool print on the front and I showed my youngest son it and I kind of I had this idea and I just quickly ran it by him and to see what he thought because I was thinking I could change it into a t-shirt for him. And he was, he was into that idea, so I, I might do that. It could be my February project. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But I think I'm, I'm going to make that as a... It's going to be my 12-month sewing project uh, that I do one upcycling project each month and in addition to whatever else I'm sewing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's decide that. I'm going to do that. Yes, that is pretty much it for this week. I will continue on to cleaning my house and all that fun stuff. I am thinking about adding more content to the channel. I did write about this in my blog yesterday. No, actually Friday. You will see this on Sunday. Uh, I wrote about this in my blog on Friday. And because I did more than, as so like a year and a half or more, I did do a few episodes of a kind of getting fit kind of thing, which is something I'm also very interested in and I have been for years and I'm yeah, and I'm I'm trying to pick up the pace again for that to, to get healthier and stronger and you know all that. I am thinking about relaunching that project again and those I have I think there's like three episodes of that that I started back then and I just set them to private. Uh, eventually and I, I had a look at them the other day and well, it's not that bad so I'm thinking I should maybe I should make those public again and continue on that project but I don't know if that is well it's part of me it's a big part of what I do and what I'm interested in as the is the creative stuff so I'm thinking it's my channel and it's about things that I do so it fits doesn't it or it would it be totally off to have like one portion that is about those things 
And I'm also thinking about doing more vlog, everyday vlog, I don't know, because I do have a lot of things to talk about. I do, um, we have depression in our family. My kids have, have issues with depression and anxiety and it's something that runs in the family. And I sometimes feel that this is something that should be talked about more. And it also should be talked more about us that has to, to live next to this and handle this on an everyday basis and what it's like and, and all that. So I'm thinking I, I might add in like a, I don't know, mental health. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe it could be just anything. Maybe I could just add in vlogs every now and then of, of things that I do and and all that. I don't know. Would you like more content on the channel that is not, you know, like yarn and knitting and sewing related? Or would that be just totally off and not interesting at all? I mean, you could just, if you're not interested in, in those things, you could just not watch those episodes and only watch the knitting creative stuff, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I am going to get started on cleaning my house. I am going to... I have a lot of stuff to do, basically. And fingers crossed, I will actually get some sewing done tonight, because I really, really need to. And I would love to show you guys next week um, some progress, other than just pieces of fabric. I didn't even bother to bring it because it's just loose pieces of fabric um, and it's not much to show anyway. So hopefully next week I will be able to show you at least part of a coat. Maybe a full coat. That would be really good. Oh, I wonder if I can do that in a week. So that one. I will have to prioritize it above most other projects if I do. But it would be so good. Maybe I should try. Okay, anyway, I hope you're having a really, really nice weekend and I will see you next week. Bye!